Back to the Ice Cloud 2275 stream. I hope you're all Lumos. doing well this fine day. I hope to illuminate your day with some uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Um, yeah, just continue where I left off. I've got a fire spell to learn and I have other things to learn. But where I left off last time was I was given three maths trials and I just didn't have the brain function to do them. So 13, owl is zero. So zero, one, two, three. Crap. Spider. You should be, oh wait. Number two. Crab. All right, then what are you? So if crab is five, you're six, that's 11. So we need four, which is the human skull or the human. Yay. Wizard. Revelio. A pattern turban that is higher than the pattern turban. The thing I'm wearing. Oh, wrong way. Headgear. A pattern turban. Now we're good. Reveal. Okay. So zero to nine. Okay. Seventeen. So that's six, five, eleven again. Plus lizard. And then Dementor Zero Unicorn Lumos Current Pattern Long Coat Cool Revelio Nothing else here. Here, really? <laughs> no, I shouldn't go to map. I need to get used to this. Is there a way I can... Yeah. Traditional robes. Cool. Not a bad coat. But we're in school. So let's just do a school attire. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, what is over there then? Hello. Where'd you go? Okay. 
That's still the Divinity Tower, isn't it? I think. Yep. Rebellion. It's divination. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. One of the reasons why I want to do that side quest that Sorry, will just shut up about it. It's a good thing about this game, there's lots of little small things. So 11 plus the ram's head, which is 2, which makes you 13. Spider. And then 17, which is 5, 9. So that's 14. 3 would be that, but I can't access it, can I? I need a... What's its face? Access you or whatever I'd better it is. keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Oh, okay. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Mong, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why don't you follow the keys? Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Why would the headmistress do such a Why thing? Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. Perhaps I'll, I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you okay. follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. That's fair. I didn't mean to wait till like night time, but.
Transfiguration class, okay. just keep getting better and better hats and I keep clicking map Partial Transfiguration. Guide pages. This is a partial transfigured teacup, likely a soon to be reversed error of a second year serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. Nelly mentioned hearing a delaying key in the astronomy tower. I'm sure if I look, I can. Uh, if I look around and listen, I can find it. That's perfectly fair, but that's not what we're doing. We're trying to do. This one. And then we'll do that one. more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yeah, of course. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Terrible idea. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Incendio. 
Accio. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to be silly yourself. Incendio. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Revelio. Uh, you want me to go back up to that guy? All right. Yeah, there's a locked door there. Can I fast travel to Hogsmeade? Visiting gear. No. Nope. Yeah, cool, can. Okay. <coughs> right. I do technically need to buy some more health potions and stuff as well, but I want my finger loose gloves. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Some fingerless gloves. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to... There we go. That's all I wanted from it. Whenever you're about. Galleon's well spent. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about.
Where is... It's the potion shop I'm looking for next, isn't it? Uh, we'll just check out those three shops, actually. I did want to revisit Ollivander's to see if I actually sold anything else. Okay. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. All right, yeah, this is based uh, crafting store. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Uh, let's go to the potion shop. Let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. A wise decision. Thank you. Let's get three of those I hope to I see can. you again. Farewell for now. Don't want to be caught short. And then we'll use some... Well, oh no, I don't need to use the flu powder. I can just fast travel. actually so much here isn't there well not like an obscene amount yeah, let's go to Hogwarts actually do the thing I'm supposed to be doing here Astronomy ring. No, I haven't got one, one there. Okay. Uh, Defense against the Dark Arts Tower. That'll do. Spare a moment? Yes, I could use your help. Inflating charm. How many times do I have to tell you not to use it on other people? You've let me down, and you've let yourself down. But nobody can let me this door away down, and it's all your fault. Oh, huh. cool. Go on, let's talk, Duncan. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello. 
I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I've had some good luck. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Are you afraid of your own Surely shadow, you're too? joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogies, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What should I expect? What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. I'll see what I can do. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. The voice actor for this guy is extremely British. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Like, it's not just like English or anything like that. It's, it's extremely English. Like... Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? thing. <laughs> I just wait for you to load in and out.
Burgundy Quidditch gloves at a higher tier. Cool. Click the map again. Might as well look at my collection seeing as though I've got it up. Quests. Top of the class scarf. That's just the uh, cosmetic, isn't it? Is it? be green because I'm slithering. Yeah, that works. Rebellion. Okay. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. The tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy. Foolish is the attempt to train trials for the ballet. Only one can only imagine the impact on art had he succeeded. Source indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Let's read other people's mail. Dear Mr. Satayati, uh, you'll be pleased to hear that I've received word from my contract contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in the understanding of meteor showers. It seems an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you. As far as I know, the purpose calculated position of dust on the Earth orbit means the connecting meteors to comets. Uh, brilliantly, brilliant, really. One could only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustrated, in my correspondence, I did feel like I had to continue using the pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Janta Manta. Uh, what an adventure we shall have. Miss you, dear sister. Hope you do well. With love, Sutra. Sutrita. Revelio. I should report back to Professor Ferg and let him know I've learned Incendio. As a Dalian key, I wonder where it might lead me. <sighs> let me get. I oh don't know. Wait, am I too high up for that side quest? <sighs> it's all the way up here then. Ah, this is the astronomy tower. This is where Dumbledore died! 
in the movies. Uh, I think in the show as well. Uh, in the books as well. Because he did fall in the books too. Let's go, Snakey Boy. Revelio. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Got it. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Cool. It's a little big to be a coin, but all right. You can help me. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sounds intriguing. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Any idea where to start? Where do you suggest I search first? 
Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Perhaps I'll have a look. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay. <laughs> it's not something I'm interested in doing now. Right now I just want to focus on a bit of main questing. Stray question between Revelio. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your schedule is... will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Should I talk to Sebastian? Getting into the restriction uh, section, I'm going to need Sebastian Salo to tell me how. He's never far from the defense against the Dark Arts classroom. I should look for him there. No, Bannister Hopper. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Or a skeleton. I'm on the right track. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet?
Revelio. Yeah, I technically need to go up. But I'm googling that stray question mark and uh, stray speech thing. It's getting quite annoying. It's the charms professor, Professor Rowan. Okay. Oh, where's the charms lesson again? Let's look at my map. That's where I'm at. Charms. Let's get rid of that damn thing. Gotta load me in. Give it a second, guys. I don't remember where the charms class was. I'll figure it out once I'm back out. But Do, 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 do. I'll always go to the magic meet. I've upset Madame Green one too many times now. She won't soon be welcoming me back to Dogwood in Death Town. Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? How long have you taught at Hogwarts? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do? Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less cheerful. Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education? Well, enough about my student days. You are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> Try to have a bit of fun today. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hopefully, that has been ridded of forever more.
Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I'm not entirely certain. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What about the librarian? How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. And what if we're caught? What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. See you tonight. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. at night time. Incendio! <laughs> so sad I haven't found out any of she's the spell. <laughs> but hey guys, that's it for the stream. I'm going to take myself a small break and then we'll do one more. And then we'll be back after that second one later in the night. Thanks for your time.